You may have seen a lot of IP rated lighting fixtures on the market, and if you don't know what IP ratings mean, you're not alone. A lot of people don't, so I thought I'd do this quick video explanation to explain what these IP ratings are. After IP, you'll see a two-digit number. Maybe it's 54 or 65. That means something. The first digit deals with protection against solids, and the second digit deals with protection against liquids. So for today's example, let's have a look at the Element Hex IP Pearl. This has an IP rating of 54. What does that mean? The first digit is 5, and it means it has some relatively good dust protection. So it's not absolutely dust tight, but it's got pretty good dust protection. You can use this in an outdoor environment, and if some dust comes blowing by, it's not going to be the end of the world. The four means that it's protected against water splashes. Perhaps if somebody throws a water balloon nearby and some water hits it, or you're playing at a pool party perhaps, and some people splash some water up on it, it's not gonna be the end of the fixture. It's got protection against water splashes. The 7P Hex IP has an IP rating of 65. Now remember, the first digit deals with solids, so the six means that this fixture is dust tight. You can put this thing in the middle of a sandstorm and you're not going to harm any of the internals. The 5 is your liquid protection, and according to the chart, this means that it's protected against water jets. So you can use this in the rain. Or you can spray with a water hose if you want to. So there's more to IP fixtures than just being IP rated. The numbers do mean something. If you Google this, you can find several different references and charts to what these numbers mean. And you can decide whether or not the IP rating is right for you and your application. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Practice and enjoy.